promotes uh, a better heart health, reduces DNA damage, protect against aging and cancer, boosts immunity, protects liver from damage, regulates blood sugar level, promotes gut health. It also assists uh, young women and uh, makes their ovulation process much healthier. Here's my breakfast. This is a uh, yogi's breakfast. This is very easy to prepare. Without lighting a stove, you have breakfast except for the turmeric. The turmeric solution where you need to heat the water. Rest is all without lighting, very energy efficient and pollution free. Like my motorcycle because I'm driving it on extremely low carbon. The same goes for what goes into your stomach because what goes into your tank will determine how you function. Well, starting with these cherry tomatoes, the small organically grown tomatoes which we are getting from uh, Mennonite farms here, they are wonderful people uh, growing everything in a very natural way. Cherry tomatoes are uh, great for fighting free radicals that cause disease and it also limits the ultraviolet uh, rays damage that happens to skin, <laughs> not my skin but uh, people who don't have enough pigmentation, it'll make a lot of difference for them and it promotes uh, a better heart health also. <coughs> Cherry tomatoes are very rich in minerals, calcium, manganese, phosphorus, potassium like this. Aragula sprouts, which are microgreens, that means they're baby greens, pack a massive amount of concentrated nutritional punch of antioxidants, vitamins, up to forty times higher than regular mature greens. Cancer prevention uh, elements are there in it, maintaining very good eye and bone health, boosts immunity, protects liver from damage. Cucumber increases uh, hydration. Uh, it is always best that we eat water through the food that we consume with high water content foods rather than simply drinking water. Strengthens uh, bone density, uh, very high in vitamin K, promotes gut health, helps manage blood sugar and uh, of course your weight because it fills you mostly with very rich water. And it also has proteins which could uh, be uh, somewhat cancer preventive. It improves heart health, of course, and uh, that is only if you have a heart. If you are like me, you're given away your heart, <laughs> then <laughs> but still you can eat cucumber. These soaked uh, groundnuts, they are not really nuts, they're legumes. They call karilakai, chanakai uh, in southern India, but the English people called it nuts. They're not really nuts, they're legumes and uh, soaked raw almonds, peeled and soaked raw walnut, peeled. The nuts are soaked in water overnight and they are peeled. This eliminates the nutritional inhibitors and other toxic substances as they are absorbed into the water without inhibitors and toxic substances. The nutrients of the nuts and seeds are more readily available for absorption. Rich in nutrients and healthy fats, lowers the risk of uh, heart disease and regulates blood sugar levels. They're very good for you, especially if you are… Uh, if you belong to the same species, I mean. These small balls of turmeric and neem, freshly ground, rich in antioxidants, very rich in vitamin B. There is neem and uh, turmeric balls here and also turmeric uh, decoction. These are very good for uh, taking away the inflammatory markers in your system and uh, to reduce inflammation, I mean. And uh, also, they are great cleansers of your gut. If there are any parasites or anything else that you don't need and 
the bad bacteria that may be there and also promotes gut health in a big way. As you know today, medical science is coming back to this, that uh, there is a gut brain, a significant part of your intelligence functions in your gut. It should be, that is, if you can eat a, mm, a nut <laughs> or a fruit and it becomes human flesh and bone, this means uh, there is intelligence out there well beyond your logical intelligence. Black sesame, very rich in antioxidants, rich source of iron, copper, zinc and vitamin B and foliate, vitamin E and all these things. Well, I don't look at things like this, but black sesame has been my companion all my life, especially on my trekking trips <laughs> when I trekked alone, the roasted Black uh, sesame kept me alive and going and energetic throughout. It also does wonders to your cartilage and uh, bone joints, encourages heart health. And uh, it is part of Southern Indian tradition during winter time when skin tends to uh, break because of uh, the cold and heat in Southern India. At the same time, we consume sesame at that time, there's a whole tradition especially in Karnataka, where everybody shares sesame with each other's families as an encouragement to consume sesame seeds because skin health will be very good. Inside out, I mean <laughs> Sesame is also very rich in iron. Those of you who are anemic for women especially, sesame is a very good thing to eat. It also assists uh, young women and uh, makes their ovulation process much healthier. Blueberries or pomegranate, any one of these, depending on where we are. One of the most antioxidant-rich food that you can consume, reduces DNA damage, protect against aging and cancer. So many berries in India, bright-colored ones, particularly in the south and western India, you will find lots of berries which have similar qualities. Sprouted fenugreek or methi as it's known, these seeds are fantastic uh, blood cleansers, good source of protein and vitamins and minerals, very good for uh, lactating mothers, great for hair and nail growth, reduces blood pressure, brings down blood sugar level, lower inflammation. These uh, uh, sprouted fenugreek or methi along with uh, sprouted uh, green gram or moong is very, very good for cognitive health. Those who are over fifty years of age must consume this on a daily basis, <laughs> otherwise you may not realize slowly you will lose it. <laughs> Here are some uh, olives, pickled olives. Uh, this is a a few, uh, quite a few Lebanese around us and this is a Lebanese uh, sabotage. They are trying to turn me into a Lebanese, but here I got raw mango pickle to stay Indian. <laughs> Both of them are very good antioxidants and uh, there are various kinds of uh, properties in these. Both are very good for heart health, cardiac health and raw mangoes are very connected and as everyone would know in southern India, at least uh, probably all across India, that <laughs> in villages if a young woman bites into a raw mango because she has an urge to eat that, uh, then immediately everybody thinks she is pregnant. So when a woman uh, conceives, there is a natural urge to eat because it's so rich in calcium, and uh, vitamin C that uh, the body produces an urge to consume such things. So raw mango, which is seasonal of course, but has tremendous benefits and it also <laughs> will make sure no matter where I travel, raw mango pickled, <laughs> especially if it's freshly pickled in this season. Uh, it was wonderful to see in Atlanta Lot of people, not of Indian origin, people saying, Sadhguru, I planted a mango tree in my house and uh, bringing a raw mango and giving it to me <laughs> uh, and uh, pickled mango 
uh, ensures that I never get homesick. And uh, this is a uh, uh, Native American product. It is from the Lakota tribe. I'm not very sure whether it is Lakota or Dakota or Nakota, but one of those tribes. And when I travel to Native American nations, I pick this up and I'm using this. The flowers here are just an expression of love from people around me. There are plenty in this season all over the forest. So they're picking up this and on the whole, a complete power breakfast, racing fuel. It's very important uh, as to how we keep ourselves if we want to live strong and thrive. So what goes into the tank <laughs> is also very important. Don't tell anybody I'm putting racing fuel on my motorcycle and also into me. <laughs>